Okay, you're losing me, man. And you're not giving me a lot to work with here, Dr. Manhattan. So dinner tomorrow night is going to be a hard no unless I get some proof. Do you have anything in mind? You said you can create life. Create some life right now. All right. That's it? It is technically life. A chicken would have been better. But you will still have dinner with me. No, but I am interested in hearing more about these 10 glorious years we're together before tragedy strikes. What would you like to know? Do we have any kids? Yes, three, a boy and two girls. Hmm. Are they like half gods? I would never pass my abilities on to someone without their consent. So that's the thing you can do? Give someone your powers? I suppose I could transfer my atomic components into some sort of organic material. If someone were to consume it, they would inherit my powers. So you can put them in this egg, and if I ate it, I could walk on water? Theoretically, yes. Well, I don't want kids. I've never wanted kids, and I'm never going to have kids. Sorry, Doc. You're gonna have to find another egg to knock up. They're not our biological children. They're adopted. Where do we adopt them? Tulsa. What? Tulsa, Oklahoma. It's where your family's from. Who told you that? You did. Uh-uh. No, I didn't. You will. Six months from now, when I give you the ring. Ring? Now we're getting engaged? In a manner of speaking, yes. But this is after the big fight when I tell you to leave? Yes. OK. So then, these three kids, how long are we living in Tulsa before we adopt them? That, I don't know. What do you mean, you don't know? I thought you know everything. There's a period of time I cannot see. When I try to look, there's only darkness. All I know is that you are there before it begins and you are there when it ends. Why are you smiling? Nothing. It's just what you said. Just sounds a lot like a tunnel. A tunnel of love.